Welcome, welcome everyone to the second video of the continuation for your bidding proposals. Now we are going to jump right in on the list or the bidding um, proposal process uh, and taking it more to something more structured and something more um, um, practical that you can use to share with your clients, to share with, um, with your colleagues, with whoever is in charge of um, the bidding process or do it, do it yourself. I am sharing uh, the structure that I use and I've been using for the past five years. So this is what has worked for me. This is and this is what has um, worked for the company where I work at. So um, this is what I'm sharing with you guys today. And remember that you are free on doing and structuring this process and this um, this checklist in your own way. Okay, so I'm going to give you the foundations to start and do this on your own so you can go ahead and make this process and do this process your own. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys. I will be sharing this right here. Okay, one second. Okay, I will be sharing my screen. Here we go. There we go. We are seeing the same thing. Awesome. So we were talking and we were checking the scope of work of a core and shell project. So now we are looking at a layout for this um, Corential project. And what we see here is um, very steep slopes on these areas right here, as you can see on, on the earth um, curves. And um, well, this is, this is a, an example of a Corential project. Um, this is the type of projects that I've mostly worked on. So this is the example I'm giving you guys, but you can um, get this example and place it in any type of project that you are looking, um, you are working with and um, looking for, for a certification in, in, in the project. So just as um, we were looking at the considerations that the client was looking at, he was considering that all of the parking spaces was going to be asphalt, that the docking area was going to be asphalt, and only um, the sidewalks and curbs were going to be um, concrete, okay? So that is what we were looking for. And if we get those specs and put them in, in, this, um, in this layout, th that is what we were looking at. And um, the information about the landscape and the information about the stormwater and the materials that they are considering to use in their project, okay guys? So um, remember to take notes, remember to have your notebook and your pen. So if you don't have it right now, put pause in this video and go ahead and get your notebook and your pen um, ready to go. Okay, guys, so let's start. And we are going to begin. Here comes the fun. This is an example of what I do how I anal analyze these type of projects and how do I go step by step through a checklist for these type of projects, okay? So I'm going to go right into the checklist, the official lead checklist for core and shell projects. And from there, we are going to see something more elaborated with um, comments and 
other details that are going to help you um, increase this information and have it more clear for your uh, client because we as um, as green building consultants we know exactly what we are looking for and what all of this information is related to and what we need to earn these um, these points to certify a project okay so by now you guys may need to be familiar with what we are looking for in a project as in the requirements and the um, scope of this type of checklist. And if you are not familiar with it, I suggest you go to, um, I would be putting the link here in this module to USGBC uh, lead credit library and check out the lead before core and shell rating system so you can get familiar with what one each each and one of these credits and prerequisites need for them to be complied and for them to be um, um, awarded by the GBCI reviewers. Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of talking a little bit more technical here. Uh, you would be getting familiar with this. The USGBC is the, the US um, Green Building Council, and it's the one responsible of, of um, structuring the whole rating system, the whole sustainable uh, certification rating system. And the GBCI is the institute that uh, accredit um, gives the accreditations to to people like I've I've told you guys before I'm a lead AP I'm a lead accredited professional for building design and construction and um, they are responsible for the accreditation of people they are responsible for reviewing these projects they have special teams team reviewers who um, check all of the information that is submitted for projects. And they, um, what they do is that they, they award or they, they request more information on every credit or prerequisite that they might see they need more information or need more, um, more clarification for them to award or not award these credits and prerequisites, okay? So you are going to get a little bit more familiar with it. You do need to um, make a little bit more of research on your own in the USGBC lead credit library. Um, I would be letting the, the link in this module so you can go ahead and check it out and um, get familiar with it, okay? If this is what you're seeking, if, if this is what you want to start with. If you want to start with a different type of um, sustainable certification, then I do recommend you to um, take a deep dive in their website to check all the information and get related and um, you know get familiar with all the information that they have in their website and the credits and prerequisites and all the all everything that they request for a certification and for the certification process, okay? So um, as I said before, I've been working on LEED certification projects and this whole program is based on the LEED certification rating system. Okay guys, everything clear, right? I hope so. If not, just let me know in the comments below, okay? Awesome. Guys, so this is the checklist for Core MCHEL projects. And we are uh, going through the lead B4. We are not going through right now through the um, lead B4.1. Uh, but we are going um, to check this, this, this list right now. 
And the way that we can consider if we are able to receive any points in this category, which is a location and transportation, is by the location of your project. And what, um, what are we looking for in the location of this, these type of projects?